Hello lovely people, hope you're well. I haven't done a tutorial on myself for a good few weeks but I am getting ready to go somewhere and um, I'll tell you the truth, I'd already filmed this tutorial and just realised I hadn't filmed it so I just went and washed my face really fast and I'm doing it again which is so disappointing because um, oh, the makeup looked nice and there'd been a TED talk during it so and there hadn't been any TED Talks, it's too hot here. So the fact that he did one during what I thought was me filming was great. But um, anyway, <laughs> so I'm going out and um, it's nothing special. But then again, it is because I'm going to meet some friends, some of which I haven't seen for quite a while. And we're going to sit outside a cafe because it's in a park and the cafe has been closed for so long. But now you can get a coffee there or a tea and sit outside. So um, it feels like a really nice, um, feels like a big event, like a huge event. This is something that would have almost felt so simple before and now feels like a night at the opera or something. So um, it's hot, but I thought I would do some makeup because um, I wanted to film something anyway. And I think it will be nice to make an effort. So I'm wearing some under eye pads. Keep checking that I'm filming, yes. Um, these are the Black Gold Pearl Eye Masks. These are just from a shop in Korea. So I'm going to tell you about what I've done to my skin already. I use something, I was gonna mention this in my previous tutorial, the last one I did on myself, but I kept getting it wrong. So um, this is something that I needed to perfect, if you like, and that's the, um, Soleil Toujours. I want to get my pronunciation right. Soleil Toujours. And this is a face tanner. This is an organic and plant-based, very natural face tanner. And they do other bronzing products as well. Face tanner is not particularly something that I would have... I use that often. I really don't. Particularly not the ones that develop and you don't have the opportunity to wash them off if you don't like them. Um, however, I, I really liked the sound of this. So initially, several, about six or eight weeks ago, I had not read the instructions, which I don't know about you, but this is something that I do a lot. And I do get heavily criticized for it around here. Um, I live in a house full of boys, basically. And um, not to generalize, but they seem to think that um, I'm being very silly by not reading instructions. But I just always think it's common sense. So. I didn't read the instructions and I put sort of two pumps in my hand, put it all over. I was so tanned <laughs> after about five hours. It was crazy. So um, then I experimented with using less and now having read all the instructions thoroughly, I use two drops in my moisturizer and um, that's it, but it's so nice. And I just feel like it is very summery here at the moment and very hot and I just quite enjoying having this facial tan. So I used it with my moisturizer. I used it all over my face. I did my neck onto my chest a tiny bit. And I usually just finish off on the back of my hands with what's sort of left and just make sure it's blended off. And because I'm using just the right amount, I'm not seeing the kind of, that it's too tan or anything like that. Right, I'm gonna start by using my Legom um, sunblock. I use quite a bit of this. Not gonna sit in the sun, but I am gonna be walking in the sun. So I'm just gonna my hair back. Put plenty of this on. So my skin, if you were watching my tutorials, the ones during the first sort of month of lockdown, you may remember that I was having this novelty uber dry skin due to the fact the heating was on, it was cold here. I've kind of gone the opposite way now and I've gone to my full potential, my, my full um, combination skin. So I'm definitely more oily down the center of my neck. And I always do the back of my hands as well. I'll do them afterwards, but I like this because it just really sinks in. And I'm not gonna have um, that kind of ashy whiteness on the skin as well. I was intrigued by this Max Factor, this coconut milk. Um, I guess this is more for dry skin. 
because it's a probiotic complex. So it would work really well with rosacea, but it, then having said that, it hasn't got any coverage. So it's more of like a tint, a tinted glow. I'm definitely not going to use this in my more oily areas, but I'm going to start with just a light layer of this onto my cheeks. And around the sides of my face. It's a really nice um, tinted moisturiser. If I was on a, if the weather was a bit cold and I wasn't having such a an oily phase of skin, I think I would really like this. There isn't any coverage, so I'll definitely still want to use a little bit of foundation around the centre of my face. But that's blended really well with the um, sunblock. And it's just got a nice, healthy sheen to it. And because that sunblock is pretty on the matte side, I think that this is, it's helping this to become a little more matte as well. I'm just gonna use my Vita Lumia Aqua foundation. This is shade number 20, which is normally my shade for this time of year. However, it might go on a little bit pale, but I think it'll warm up okay. Just gonna use this around the center of my face anyway. Oh, excuse my forehead, I dyed my hair last night and um, I think a lot of it went onto my skin. So all around the side of my face, I have a black mark, but um, it'll wear off. <laughs> I'll put some concealer on it. <laughs> yeah, I was getting desperate. So I'm just gonna buff this over. I'm very happy with that. Might do a little bit of pinpoint concealing in a second. Right, the next thing I'm gonna do is use some highlighter. I'm gonna use this stick. This is the Honest Beauty and it's a balm highlighter. So I'm only gonna use it on the top of my cheekbones because um, that'll be enough for me today. And it's just a really nice natural one. So in daylight, which is, it's I'm gonna be sitting in daylight, it's not gonna look like I've turned up in a kind of glittery face of makeup. Put a little bit of that on my lips as well. Then I'm going to use some of this. It's a Fenty Beauty cream blush and I just love the colour. I think it's called Strawberry Punch. It's really bright. I'm going to use my brush that I just blended my foundation. So it's a bit less, it's going to mix a bit with that. And I'm going to do it a sort of dab onto the cheeks, kind of here. So I look a little flushed, sort of around the center, almost like triangular in a way. Just so it looks really, really, really natural. And this is such a nice way to do blush if you want to look like you haven't put makeup on because usually when you do blush makeup, it's kind of like this, you know, around the sides and coming up. But when it's in this slightly more triangular shape, it's a little bit more like you have been exercising or you're just feeling a bit more flushed. And if you do have a lot of natural redness in your skin, so this is a step that you'd prefer to skip, then go ahead. I'm actually going to take it Hardly any, but just across the nose like that as well. And there's not much left on the brush there, but that will help it to again, look really, really natural. So I'm gonna use some uh, pinpoint concealer. I'm just gonna use some Laura Mercier on a couple of, I'm gonna put a tiny bit at the inner corner of my eyes there where it's dark. And then just on a couple of marks. I'm going to use mascara. Don't think I'm gonna do any eye makeup because I don't really feel like it. I think it will just look too much anyway, in daylight. I think an eyeliner would look nice if you wanted to, if you're used to that. But I think if I just put plenty of mascara on, give these a really good curl. I could use the Marc Jacobs mascara. So that's my mascara on so you can see they're quite um, nicely separated as well so 
So I finished my mascara and I wanted to try, I said I wasn't gonna do anything on my eyes, but I wanna try this eyeshadow stick. This is waterproof, so I think I'll be safe with it. It's almost like bronzy with a pinky iridescence. And um, I'm just gonna try it along my lash line. Ideally, I would do this before mascara, but I just went to look for face powder and um, I found this. Yeah, I think that's nice. It's just really um, going to catch. Only really if I blink, you can't really see it when my eyes are open. It just gives a little bit of colour there. Just do a little sweep. Those edges. And a tiny bit into the inner corner. Blend that actually in the inner corner. Okay, so that's my eyes done. Very simple makeup. I went to look for some powder and I don't have any here, which is quite funny. So I've taken all my kits back to my studio, which I'm kind of mainly working out of now. And I don't have a drop of powder here. So I've just found some corn flour, some cornstarch in my kitchen, which I've put into a bowl. And uh, this is not something I would do very often, but I really need some powder, desperately. So I'm going to use that with a brush. And, and this is a sort of wartime tip. And then just take the shine off center of my face. And you can see it works pretty well. Oh, that's better. Oh, now I feel good. So that works really pretty good, right? See, everything's there in the kitchen. While I've got this brush and it's got a little bit of the cornstarch left on it, I'm going to get some bronzer. This is just a bronzing powder. And I'm gonna use that across my eyelids A little bit around my temples. Just going to try not to disturb where I've done some concealing there. So I'm going to kind of roll it on and tap it. Which if you're applying things like powdery things after you've done concealer, even if you've set it with powder, it's good to just go in gently. So I'm going to just bring a little bit more warmth to the face. I'm going to go across where I did my a little bit of uh, blushing earlier on, just across the centre, the face there, and along the jawline as well, and down the centre of my neck. So very, very simple brows, but I did find this. This is a British brand called BBB, which I've never heard of before, but I do like their brow. It's almost like the mix between a gel and a powder with a really tiny brush. I find, I've got the brown one that I, need to wipe half of it off but then with what's left on it's almost like a bulking agent so i just bring my brows away from almost combing them towards in the wrong direction and it just sort of bulks them up with with powder and gel so i go through them the wrong way like that which doesn't look very nice and then i'll just brush them back the right way in a second and you can see how much thicker they look. Yeah, and then I go back through them just with what's left on there and just flatten them down, but they still look very wild and, and thick, which I like, you can see that. So I'm going to use a lip pencil all over. I'm going to use a pinky shade and go all over my lips completely. I 
going to rub that in a little bit so it's not too much product just so it looks very very natural and the beauty of doing this on a hot day is that a waxy pencil even when applied quite lightly will really stay put because wax repels water and oil and things so it's a really good way of just getting that base layer on. I'm just going to use some tinted lip balm on that. A little bit of shimmer in. Oh, it's getting noisy here. And then I'm going to go back in with the highlighter just on the top of the lips there. I may actually just go back in with, I'm going to go back in with a tiny bit of this. I know I've used powder, so, but because everything's so thin, I think I can get away with it. I feel like I just want to be a little bit more flushed. I'm just going to go there, quite close to the apple of the cheek, but just blend that out. Buff that, put a tiny bit of that on there as well. Okay, well I think I am ready. Second time lucky, I think, with this one. Just going to use a tiny bit more of my kitchen cornstarch just to set around the sides of my nose. I think that's going to stay. Put a tiny bit more mascara on. And I am ready, I think. I'm going to use this again. I'm going to use this with a eye brush, put a little bit on the back of my hand and then just buff onto that eye brush there. Because it's a waterproof pencil, if I just buff that onto the edge of my um, outer socket line there, it'll bring a nice bit of colour, but I know it's definitely going to last. It's like a coppery, a pinky copper colour. Okay. Definitely finished now. So that is the finished look. I think it's subtle bronze, a little bit of rosy cheek and a natural lip, which will definitely not be smudging or moving around. And also we are wearing masks here. So if we go into cafes and things, I can put my mask on and know that um, my makeup is not gonna come off, especially as I've set it all with cornstarch. <laughs> um, so I hope that was, fun and um, please let me know how you're doing in the comments how everything is going wherever you are and um, I will see you very soon sending you lots of love bye